Hello world and welcome. My name is Miss Multi Console and welcome back to Persona 5. We were just about to go and have a lovely romantic date with Mishima at the planetarium. We, we are going to gaze at some stars and look into each other's eyes romantically. <laughs> I'm just joking, that would be really, really strange. It's just at the time of recording this is actually Valentine's Day but it probably won't be by the time I upload this I'm thinking of putting this up tomorrow I might put it up today I don't know I don't know we will see but it is in fact true that we are going to the planetarium with Mishima today so I'm actually really looking forward to that I came back to the real world because I needed some SP items but that hasn't really happened like I was gonna go and grab some but I just haven't had time to because I've had like people just inviting themselves to our house so we just haven't had time like Yusuke and Ryuji we've been reading manga books and art books and stuff with them which was kind of random it was getting a bit repetitive as well so I'm glad it's kind of mixed up a bit with the planetarium at least let's see what Morgana says there are a bunch of strange circumstances this time we should proceed with caution all right, I haven't decided. Just saying about meeting them up. Let's check our plan, it's pretty healthy. Okay, we're on Friday, nothing important on Fridays. So let's just go, let's go to the planetarium. Let's go, yes, head over immediately. All right, it's the planetarium in Ikibukuro or something, <laughs> where there have been sightings of weirdos. I already see one, I'm looking at him. <laughs> let's meet up first, weirdos. Okay, well, no use in thinking about it. Let's head to the meeting spot. Okay, are you talking about aliens or what exactly are you talking about here? I don't know. If they're weird, according to Mishima, they've got to be really strange because Mishima's strange. <laughs> let's go, let's go. It's planetarium atop a skyscraper is the ultimate spot for viewing stars. This would be a great place for a date, wouldn't it? Taking someone to that. I've never been to one, I don't think. I'm not sure if I've been to one actually. Maybe for a school trip or something. It's not a place I recall going to very often right. at least. I'm not sure if I've been there or not. I might have been, but I can't I honestly can't remember. Alright, let's go, let's go. Now that you mention it. Oh, it's so nice. Look at the sky. I like it. According to my information, there should be an eccentric character around here. Are you talking about yourself? <laughs> Apparently he lives in his own world, totally escaping reality. He is literally talking about himself. I heard he even talks to himself about the mysteries of the universe and the beauty in harmony. What? That is suspicious. Sounds like someone I know, exactly. <laughs> so, someone you know? Jeez, Star, you sure know a lot of different people. Oh. oh, I think that's him. Look, he's even talking to himself. I think we hit the jackpot with this guy. Hey, wait, he's coming over here. It's you. Oh, it's Yusuke. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I should have known that one. <laughs> I actually thought he was talking about himself for a second. Just that Mishima is a little bit strange. But yeah, Yusuke is very eccentric. I thought I saw a familiar face. I came to experience the mysteries of the universe. I'm glad to see you here as well. It, it's him, the eccentric. How rude. Who are you calling an, an eccentric? <laughs> Have you heard the rumours? You. <laughs> Let's not be that blunt. <laughs> Have you heard the rumours? Let's say that. I am aware, though it pains me to hear it phrased so nonchalantly. Okay, so it's kind of like upsetting him, so I'm glad I didn't say you. <laughs> we might have hurt his feelings. Nevertheless, I expected your chosen company to be more eloquent. <laughs> wow. So, sorry, I didn't think you were Star's friend. You just matched the description of the rumoured eccentric, so it just slipped out. Rumoured eccentric? There have been rumours about a man constantly talking to himself here and mumbling strange things. Maybe it's not Yusuke, maybe it's somebody else. Does Yusuke come here a lot? Hmm. I see, that does sound like odd behaviour. However, can you not sense how nature's divine providence has drawn us together here? What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? 
What I mean was... What? <laughs> I like how Yusuke's like, well, this is a normal conversation. And Mishima's like, what are you talking about, dude? You might be that eccentric from the rumours after all. I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> yes, feign ignorance. Ignorance is bliss after all. <laughs> no, no, not at all. The screening is starting soon. Why don't we take our seats? Okay. Oh, right. Now then. This rumoured eccentric. I'll be sure to keep a careful watch for such a person as well. Isn't that nice, Mishima? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be counting on you. <laughs> He's like questioning it. I'll be counting on you? Uh, awkward. <laughs> I like how we got so many notes for that though. Who did we get relationship boost with though? Was it with Mishima or was it with Yusuke? So, uh, I guess this case is closed? Well, that was a bit of a random little thing. Like, that just was so random. Weird, weird, no, weird. Maybe it thieves. was Yusuke after all. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjed. What do you make of this? Alright, is this uh, a catchy again? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjed is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. I blah, see. blah, 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 blah. We've, we've heard all of this like a million times. He really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them though. Yes. Let's call Kawakami. Let's do it. Let's call her. I want to see what she says after the last time that we met her. Because the last time that we saw Kawakami, I believe, is when she revealed to us that she doesn't actually have a poorly sister. So is she just going to act like normal or is she actually going to go into that a bit more, I wonder? I'm Becky, gorilla maid of the maid world. What? <laughs> the type of work we do depends on how... Oh, it's you. You understood what I told you last time, right? And you still want to request me? I feel I can become closer. Okay, I'll, cool. I've got one of the personas to increase the bond as well. 5,000 yen. Uh, yes, let's do it. I wonder if we will increase again with Kawakami. <sighs> Fine. I guess I'll have to talk to you properly about it. Just wait for me there. So I was going to go into the metaverse, but like, I don't think we have enough time. I don't think you can go in the evening. Actually, maybe Jeez. I think one of Kawakami's perks makes it so you can go during the, during, during the night, right? But I'm not sure if I've unlocked it yet. Are you serious? Oh gosh, she looks really angry. Look at her face. Damn. <laughs> I told you that the story about my sick little sister was a lie. You know you're being used for money and you still request me? It's fun. I want to know more. Who's the master here? Who's the master here? Who's the daddy? <laughs> what should I say? Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that one. I'm the boss. <laughs> she liked it. Well, I am thankful that you're requesting me, but you really are one strange kid. I'm a mediocre teacher and a mediocre maid, and yet you listen to everything I have to say. You're the complete opposite of me. I don't even properly attend to my students' needs. Feels bad. So... She feels bad. The money is actually... Oh, she can tell us the real reason. An apology. There was a student named... Takasi? 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 I see or something at the school I taught at before Shujin. Okay, he was considered a problem child since he had the lowest grades and skipped school a lot. So I was put in charge of guiding him or rather pushing him to transfer to another school. Okay, but when I got to know him, I realized that he wasn't a problem child after all. In fact, he was working several part-time jobs just so he could cover his living expenses. His relatives took him in when his parents died, so he had to make money to support himself. Right? He couldn't attend school every day, but he was motivated to study. That's why I decided to tutor him. After I started working with him, his grades started to improve, slowly but surely. That's nice. So why did you need to give him money? But I was told that it was wrong to only help students and not others. 
Then a strange rumour about him being a juvenile delinquent began to circulate, and on top of that I got called into the principal's office. He threatened me, saying that I'd be dismissed if I continued to tutor to Cassie Kun. Wow, that really sucks. So again, this principal again is showing his true colours. I'm assuming it's the same guy, that Kobaya blah blah blah, whatever he's called. <laughs> he's got like the worst name to pronounce. I hate saying his name. <laughs> so I just tried to avoid it. <laughs> How terrible. It was inevitable. So did you stop? Yeah, did you stop? I want to know more. If only I had stuck to my convictions, but I... I got scared of losing my job and of having rumours spread about me, so I cancelled our upcoming tutoring sessions. Takasikun was on his way to one of his part-time jobs when I told him. Out of all the days, it was New Year's Eve and it had been pouring with rain all day. And he died in a car crash. Oh, damn, that sucks. Wow. He sounded so depressed when I told him that I couldn't tutor him anymore. But then he said that it was no big deal because he had work anyway, so I wouldn't feel bad. If only I had kept my promise to him. It's not your fault. It was bad luck. It's no one's fault. Hmm. It's no one's fault. Takasi Kun was exhausted from tutoring sessions and working at his part-time jobs. His guardians blamed me for the accident, saying it was all my fault that he was so tired. They said that they were going to sue me and take the issue to the media and board of education. I wouldn't have been accused of the crime, but if word had gotten out, the school would have been done for. I wanted to continue teaching no matter what, so I ended up paying them the apology money so they wouldn't sue me or say anything. Oh wow, so basically she's being blackmailed by the guardians of this kid because otherwise they're going to ruin her reputation even though she didn't even do anything wrong. That's pretty insane really. I wish she didn't lie. I wish like she didn't lie about the whole sister thing though. That's really annoying. Guardians, huh? You okay with that? see what she says. It was my indecisiveness that backed him into a corner and I blame myself every day. I know paying them isn't going to bring him back but it's the only way I can atone for my sins. What sins? You didn't do anything. <laughs> it seems like his guardians are satisfied with our arrangement so... Wow. How much money did they ask for? See? Nothing good ever comes from getting involved with me. I have to keep my distance to avoid hurting others, so I don't meddle in my students' lives. I've been coming here because of a random twist of fate, but we should say goodbye as well. It's too late now. What about our deal? I want to see you again. <laughs> what about our deal? <laughs> That's just mean, isn't it? <laughs> You've got a double deal thing going on here. I want to see you again. Let's make her heart go a flutter. Tarkin. Oh. <laughs> You're really not the type to back down, are you? <laughs> I guess we're in this together now that I told you the whole story, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll see what I can do about the other teachers so you get free periods with them too. I look forward to continuing our relationship. Oh, bless. I think we're going to rank up from that. Or at least I hope so. Yes, we have. Awesome. Gain free time in other teachers' classes with Kawakami's help. She is so right. she is such a rebel teacher, isn't she? Helping us to slack off. <laughs> I love her really. Oh, that was cute. That was cute what she just did. Alrighty, time to clean. I'm going to put more energy into it than in usual today. Yay! Oh no, don't tell me she's sick. Oh no, I think she's sick. Oh my, this room is so dusty. Oh, okay, it's just the dust, it's just the spores. Even though I wipe the place squeaky clean every visit. Yeah, right, I don't think you do. <laughs> well, I guess it's all work for you, master. I'll work hard to earn my keep. She's lying, I bet she does like one little corner of the room. <sighs> she does like one little portion of that table over there and then she's like, nope, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, wow, it's so dusty. If my cough is already this bad, 
Maybe you would be better off tearing this place down than trying to clean it. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to clean it, so let's just destroy it. <laughs> well, the shabby, I mean, chickness of this room is truly its charm, so let's keep it as it is. <laughs> Wow, that's uh, that's one way to get out of cleaning. I have to try that tactic next time. <laughs> All right, I have to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be eagerly awaiting your next request, Master. Okay. And I shall be eagerly awaiting the time when I actually have spare time to request you, Kawakami. Huh, who could it be at this hour? Oh, it's more people's. God, we've got a lot of bonding going on right now. There's a movie that won't be in theatres for much longer. Ah, oh, movie time! I have never been to the movies in this game. I was wondering when it was actually going to open. That's cool. I know we haven't finished dealing with Futabi yet, but I'm curious about it. It's called Like a Dragon. You know, the one by that famous director. Would you maybe like to see it together? Do you want to make plans for tomorrow? Sure. I wonder, let's decide later just in case. Don't forget to respond tomorrow because I just want to make sure that I have a persona for Makoto. So I'm not actually sure what her persona is. I can't remember. I might have one already. I'll have to look. Okay, so if we go to confidence and we go to Makoto, she's a priestess. So if we go to thingies... Oh, I do have one. I have Isis. That's lucky. Okay, so we will do that straight away. Let's go and do it. So where is it? This one? Not much longer. Yes. Go see it. We're going to the movies. All right, let's go to see the movies today. Go into the movies to see how to train your dragon. <laughs> Not quite, but similar. Well, um... Sorry, I got here a bit early. I've been looking forward to this for some time, so... That, that, that is a famous director who was responsible for this movie. Who wouldn't want to see it? Sure, you're not just looking forward to going with us to a movie? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Let's go inside already. Okay, let's go. It's nice to take Mot Makoto out for a movie. I wonder how she'll act. Will she be scared? Try to cut ties with me, then you come back for more. I'll kill you. Oh my god, it sounds intense. Boss, boss. no, that bastard shot him. Boss! <laughs> I actually find the voice acting quite amusing. <laughs> Makoto's fists have been clenched this entire time. <laughs> wow, look at her, she's well into it. Whatever she said before about the director was probably just an excuse. She loves this stuff. I don't blame her. I feel like I learned more about determination that the Yakuza have. Oh, this is about Yakuza. Oh, I thought it was about dragons. Okay, maybe it has both. I don't know. So we've got some guts, which is awesome. All right. You're right. That, that wasn't too bad. It's okay, Makoto. Just let yourself go. Just tell us how you really feel. Just tell us that you loved it. Every second of it. We just already know it. Um, do you think it's weird if a girl likes movies like this? No. Not at all. Not at all. Do you all. think? R really? Of course. I like movies like that. I like action movies and I like pretty much every type of movie, I think. Maybe apart from like documentaries, I don't really think they're like movies. I mean, it depends on what documentary it is because I like the animal ones. So I guess it depends on that as well. I sometimes get bored of like war movies sometimes. I don't know, it depends I guess on my mood as well. Thanks, I think this is the first time I've been told that. Sorry that I called you over so suddenly. It felt weird watching a Yakuza film all by myself. Thank you. I had fun though, thanks to you. Okay, let's start heading home. That was awesome, I enjoyed that one. I like all these little mini little things that we're doing with our Phantom Thieves right now, it's quite nice. Unexpected as well, I never expected Man, to randomly hard. do this. Another Scorcher, can't we catch a break? Hey. No. <laughs> Weren't you going to ask the airsoft guy about the paper bag? My god, that was ages ago, but yes. 
I think that we have enough to do that now. We're still in the evening. I am gonna see if I can actually go to the um, to the metaverse. I actually don't think we can. Yeah, I don't think we can because when you speak to Morgana, he doesn't even mention anything about the hideout. So I assume that we can't and we have to go there during the day. So that kind of sucks. I wanna check if the dude's out, you know, uh, politician dude i want to check if he's about i'm not sure if he is <gasps> the fortune teller's up there the fortune teller's up there guys the fortune teller's up there <gasps> i'm excited i've got to go see her i think that's where we're gonna go i just want to check just because hifumi okay i don't think that guy's about but i think the fortune teller's here guys the fortune teller let's go do the fortune teller <laughs> i've been excited for this woman for ages all right here we go she is like so pretty that I, I love this girl where is she she was up here somewhere right let me see if i can find her where is she then maybe she's not at the crossroads right have i gone past her because i know like she wasn't highlighted but i assumed that's because i haven't <gasps> there she is there she is there she is she's so pretty i like this girl i like this girl i've been like so excited to unlock this girl for ages so <laughs> i'm delighted that i finally found her okay let's do it let's unlock her hey it's that fortune teller everyone keeps talking about are you gonna get your fortune read yes i am oh hello please take a seat i wonder what she's like like because i know nothing about her i'm just going off looks here i just think she's the prettiest hello there this is your first time here yes it's not often that i get young men stopping by my stand Anyway, my name is Chihaya Mifun. I will be reading your fortune today. Okay, let's do this. You can begin by telling me your name. I think it's her eyes. Her eyes do it for me. <laughs> the purple eyes, because purple's my favorite. And I just love her eyes. Tell me your name. Okay, I am, I am Multistar. That is my name. Ah, Multistar-san. I see, your name is quite lucky. That aside, what type of consultation can I interest you in today? Give me the full package. Yes, full package, lady. Why did she look worried? Very well, I suppose the life of a high schooler is difficult after all. Now then, let's start with an initial reading to test the waters of your fate. Here we go. Okay. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune. I bet this is a scam. <laughs> Your first card is, hmm, I see. As for the second, oh, next is, is it bad luck? I don't wanna know, I'm scared. Is this? Yes, I've seen everything. A stream of light obscuring the sun, like an arrow tearing through the sky. Here it is. Okay, I see. There seems to be new wealth in your future. Your financial fortune is looking good today. This wealth of which I speak will come from your house. What? Head home without detour and precisely 5,000 yen will await you there. Really? Are you sure? Really? Yes. I can only speak of what I saw. Fate is absolute. Um. All right. But what is this? Strange, Starsan. Starsan, the general flow of your future seems to indicate ruin and an inmate locked away in a lonely cell. Oh, she can see us in the velvet room. You seem to be a good person, Starkun. Starsan, even. Kun is like, as a habit. <laughs> but are you perhaps mixed up in the wrong crowd? Oh my gosh, she knows. Beyond that, my. It seems continuing on your current path will lead to your death. Holy moly! Don't try to threaten me. And how can I avoid that? <laughs> yes, I would like to avoid that. I cannot offer advice to that end. That's impossible. Hmm. If the divination is coming to me this clearly, the truth of it is simply undeniable. Holy moly. Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way you can attempt to counteract your destiny. Okay, how? This seems too good to be true. All you need is my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. Let me guess, it costs money, yeah? With its power in your control, you can avoid even the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. Yeah, that doesn't sound convincing. <laughs> 
I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away all the horrible energies surrounding you. Oh! My nan had like these crystal stone things and she actually she gave me a few of them and each one had like different properties I don't really know if I believe in it I'm not sure I'm just kind of like on the fence because it's all about like spiritual energy and your chi and all that stuff I'm not entirely sure if I believe it or not I'm just kind of like on the fence I'm not gonna say it. it's not real but I'm not gonna say it's real either because who knows who knows there's some weird stuff in this world after all but I know exactly what she's talking about. All you need to do is keep it wrapped up in cloth and be sure to recharge its power in moonlight every three days. What do you say? As for the cost, it's only 100,000 yen! Not bad for an item that can change your very future, yes? Sure, this seems suspicious. <laughs> it, it's legitimate, I promise. So you really don't so? want it? What a shame it will be to see the flames of youth snuffed out so soon. Well, come to see me again if you change your mind. I really can help you if you'd like. Oh, did that? I, I wanted it. I was just, I was just joking. God. Oh, did that ruin my time? Oh, that sucks. I should have said yes. Really? Ugh. Oh, you're home. I've been waiting for you. Oh. Maybe we'll get the money. Well, we get 5,000. If we get 5,000, I'm going back for that stone. <laughs> the chief seems strangely happy. I wonder what's going on. Hey, Morty, how's your pocket money situation been looking? Wow, he's actually going to give us money. <laughs> You're hopeless. No way, is he? Wow. Here. What is this? 5,000 yen? This is weird. I won some money from the lotto, so I don't mind sharing my winnings. How much did you win? I shouldn't have asked. Don't worry about the details. Or what? Is that 5,000 yen not enough for you? Anyway, make sure you close up the shop like always. Hey! Hey, so does this mean that fortune teller was right? This is kind of scary. But she could have just That's given incredible. him money or something. Like, I'm still suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> she even got the amount spot on. Maybe that Chihaya lady can seriously read into the future. Wait, this is bad. Didn't she say you're gonna die? Come on, we need to go talk to her again and figure out what to do. And maybe I can have her read my compatibility fortune with... <laughs> with no. Anne. Uh, uh, um, never mind. <laughs> it, it seems like Chihaya Mifun can actually see into the future. Maybe I should go back and have my fortune read again. And there's the holy stone too. She said it costs 100,000 yen. That's a lot. 5,000. Okay, that's cool. It's okay because we've got enough. It's not very often that we gain 5,000. I'm normally giving it away to um, Kawakami, aren't I? <laughs> that's normally what I'm doing. I'm so happy that I like actually made progress with the fortune teller though because that is something that I've been dying to do for the longest time and I just haven't had the money spare to do it so I'm really I'm really happy about that. There's 21 days left before Medjed's deadline. Don't slack off because it's summer okay? Okay I won't. I'm thinking we're probably going to go back to the real world now because we're, it's daytime as well so we have ample time to actually go to the metaverse on this day so that's cool we should be returning to Futaba's tomb and hopefully getting further in her palace so I hope you enjoyed this episode thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time